Yeah, they're just ashy. Not me, I'm not ashy. <laughs> My name is Taryn, aka Glamazon with three Z's. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is the first video you're watching of mine. Um, today is Wednesday. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's already, it's, it's already been one of those type of weeks. I'm just like, thank God we're halfway through Thursday, which is one day closer to Friday. Been one of those weeks. Um, anyway, I just got home, right? And I got a presidential tent around my car. So, aka, I got 5% on it. I got 5% on a wagon. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, my car is tinted out. It's blacked out. So, um, thankfully, where I live, um, the cops ain't really checking for that type of stuff. Ugh, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Um... But, you know, every time I'm passing an intersection, I'm like, my head is, like, always on a swivel, trying to, just trying to make sure. Because I've been places where, um, in certain counties where I've gotten tickets, like, and it's been consistent that I've gotten those tickets in those places because they look for those type of things. And also, it probably just depends on timing, too. Like, if a cop is trying to make it meet, it, meet his quota or something. But anyway, <laughs> um, I was crossing the street. Um, or no, I was passing the street and, uh, I was coming to a stoplight and I looked over and there was a cop coming. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> my, Cause my windows are blacked out and I was the only one passing. And it's crazy because every time I see a cop coming, I'll roll down my windows, right? Just, you know, like they can see what's going on, see what's going on in the car. See, and then, and then I'm just over here minding my business in the car. Um, anyway, I rolled it down and I'm sitting at the stoplight, right? And so he's coming up. <laughs> There's only one way so he came from the street and he came up beside me and he stopped right next to me and was like you got a tail light out and i was like oh really and i was like looking at my dashboard trying to look like oh <laughs> and he was like yeah right side and i was like oh okay thank you appreciate it and then he just kind of took off to be behind the car, other car at the stoplight and i was like Whew. <laughs> but yeah i'm telling you out here riding dirty it ain't for everybody but anyway so yeah now i got a tail light out and i'm like I thought newer cars were supposed to tell you when you had a tail light out. And so it's all making sense to me as to why I see cars out here with no brake lights, like no like no lights at all. So I'm like, do they even know? Like, do they got people telling them? Like, you know what I'm saying? I just thought once you had a newer car, a car that had GPS, a car that had Bluetooth, that your car was supposed to tell you everything, but apparently my car just ain't luxury enough. So, excuse me, humbled, okay? But anyway, um, if ain't one thing, it's another. But no biggie. I will get that handled. One of the things that collect are keychains, like when I travel and things like that, when I go overseas, go to different countries, things like that. But another thing I, I love to, uh, I guess kind of hoard, but I say collect, are notebooks. Like if I see a notebook with like a cute cover, anything like that, I'm like, I'm getting it. I don't care. I'm like, I'll be at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I, I do not care. Like, I will get it. I got this cute, this cute plan book from the Dollar Tree. And it says plan on it. And, um, you know, I've heard of people making, like, manifestation diaries and things like that. And manifestation, you know, boards and things like that. And I already kind of have that. I already have a vision board. Um, Pinterest is my manifestation every single day. But I was like, you know what, let me get something I can actually, like, and I have one in my phone, too, in my notes. But I was like, let me get something like that I can actually write down. You know what I mean? I don't gotta wait, you know, for it app to load. I was like, let me just grab a pen and get something to write it down. So, um, yeah, I already have a couple things in there now. Um, but yeah, anytime I think of something, I'm just gonna write, gonna write it, write it down in here, just review it. Look at, I look at it. So far, I've just been looking at it every time before I go to bed. So, you know, gotta put that shit out there. Gotta put it out there. Oh, and this is another one. I was at TJ Maxx the other day. Oh, this is so cute because I travel. Oh, I love it. So this is an Explore. I don't know if you can see it. The ring light. But yeah, an Explore. And it has like Africa and the other continents around it. Oh my gosh. Like, I was like, I'm in love. I'm in love. Of course, it's blank. And I'm not really sure what I'm writing here. It's lying too, which is cool. Um, But I'll figure it out. I'm going to just throw it in my box with my other notes i'll probably just plan for my next trip with it to be honest yeah but i love it just 
love it. Uh, another thing I'm noticing too is like that's what add, what's adding stress to my week. Like I feel like I'm breaking out like so bad. I'm like ugh. On my other video, another video, I recently showed that I purchased Good Molecules. I purchased their their discoloration serum and brightening toner. Yeah, and so far I've seen really good results. I've only been using it for a week so far. Um, so I'm kind of trying to wait until two weeks and then, you know, we'll go from there. Um, but other than that, I'm just like, I feel like I'm breaking out and I'm just like, I, I am stressed. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should, I'm thinking I also probably need to wash my makeup brushes, which I'm about to go do now. <laughs> um, and then I'm like, I don't sleep with makeup on either. I make sure I clean my pillowcases. So I don't know. It could be honestly just stress. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go clean my makeup brushes right now. Yeah, so I just went to get the taillight replacements for my car and those were locked up. Like, I swear, I'm already switching up, but they be locking up, you know? It's, I feel like you have to complain about it in order for them not to lock it up. You know, because when people was complaining about the natural hair care brands being locked up, of course, then they let them, they let them back out. But it's like everything else, I'm like, really? Y'all gotta lock up lashes? Y'all gotta lock up tail lights? Like, why are y'all stealing this shit? Like, I just can't, I cannot, I cannot. And then when, when they finally get it for you, they're like, oh, are you done with your shopping? Like, no, nah, I'm not. But I'm not trying to open, be over here waiting in these like long ass lines of people with the grocery carts full of groceries for like this and like with two other things. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys these shoes uh, that were sent to me. Um, they literally just got here. Um, they're the, uh, from this brand called OnlyMaker.com, or this, they're from this website called OnlyMaker.com. And they've actually sent me um, a few other shoes before that I've um, shot outfits in. And you know, they're, they're super cute, super affordable. And they uh, do have big, they are big foot friendly. <laughs> So I believe they go up to a 12 or 13. I think I've seen a 12 or 13. Um, and these are so cute. So these are usually how, this is usually how their box looks. Only maker here on the bottom. And these are called the Sherpa Fuzzy Heels. And so they have them in black, brown, and green, but I really wanted green. Sand green. And look at these, aren't these so cute? I don't know if you guys can really see, but um, it's like fuzzy. You can kind of see, they're like a little. And of course the color is a little bit different in person than it's showing up on here. It might be a little too bright green. But yeah, it's actually like, I wanna say a grass green. Not like a real grass green, but you know like those, those grasses that look a little fake and they're like a little too green. It looks that type of green. But anyway, they're so cute. I'm definitely going to wear these in my uh, monochromatic outfit um, video that I'm doing. And I'm definitely going to wear these as an outfit for uh, on Instagram. And these are a size 12. Um, I'm actually a size 11. Well, actually, I lied. Um, I'm a true 10 and a half, um, but I usually just get a size 11 because... I, who has halves they never have halves or anything except for like the small people <laughs> um but yeah these are a 12 and the only reason i got a 12 is because of the pointy toe right there okay that's kind of a more true green right there if you can see it now but yeah i usually um so for these i got a 12 and i think um another pair of shoes i got with only maker it was a pointy toe too 
and I had gotten a 12 and they fit me perfectly. Oh, it was some cowboy boots. Yes, some cowboy boots. I actually wore them a couple times too um, and some outfits on my Instagram. So they're black um, with white outlines and a spider web, super cute. But yeah, so cute. Can't wait to wear these. Thank you, Only Maker. Hi guys. I just got done shooting and this is the outfit. I mean, you can't really see it, but stay tuned. And it's part of my monochromatic idea too. Anyway, I'm shooting in these today. Once again, the color is kind of off. But yeah, I'm on St. Patty's Day. And technically I am more than 5% Irish. Let me take a look at these photos really quick. Okay, that one is fire. Ooh, I like this one and this one. Mm, and see, I, I normally don't shoot with my front camera because it's like, obviously it's less quality than the front camera. I mean the back camera. But I was I got tired of not being able to see myself, so but yeah. They look good, they're just ashy. Not me, I'm not ashy, the camera ashy. And I want the lens off too. Mm. Ooh, and some of these you can tell the issues are too big for me. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Cute. Look at that one. Y'all can see it. Probably not. Yeah, that was cute. I think that this is the paint for my license plate. This little tiny thing is a big old box. I just love mini things. Look how cute it is. Look at that. It's so tiny. See, I'm not really sure this is gonna match. This looks look like a little too yellow. Let's go see. I think I'm gonna just take it off. Hey guys, it is Sunday and I am digging into the salmon I y'all just saw. Mm. I actually got the recipe from Pinterest. Love Pinterest. It's a honey balsamic salmon, so or like glazed or whatever. So the glaze has sriracha, soy sauce. Well, I didn't have soy sauce, so I added teriyaki sauce. So sriracha, teriyaki, honey, some other seasonings, and garlic. So that's, those are mainly what I use to marinate it in. It is bomb. It's a little spicy too, which I like. I like spicy stuff. Not like over the top spicy, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Anyways, um, so I'm like looking at my skin and I'm like, you know what? I need to get a chemical peel. But first thing I'm thinking of is I'm always thinking, you know, I'm melanated so it's gonna be a little bit different compared to obviously the melanated list <laughs> people um so I'm over here like just looking I typed in Google I typed in black dermatologist in the Bay Area right and um like I found one and she has pretty good reviews so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a consultation appointment because I'm serious, like, I'm trying to reset my skin, reset everything. I mean, it might not even look that bad on camera to you guys, but I'm like, I'm just like, skin, where are you at? Like, where did you go? You know, like, this is not you. So, like I, like I said, though, earlier, I mean, I have been a little bit stressed and things like that, but I'm just kind of like, I need, like, a skin reset, a surface reset or something. So I'm definitely going to go in and get a consultation for that and hopefully that goes well. Um, and the doctor, the dermatologist, like I said, she's black so I feel a lot more comfortable with that. So um, we'll see. But I'm not going to lie, like, it was hard. I was like on here like looking for like 20 minutes trying to find black dermatologists. Like, where the black dermatologists at? Atlanta. <laughs> Other places. Other than where I'm at. <laughs> but I found one so hopefully we'll see how it goes and I will let you know um hopefully I can get an appointment soon because I can only imagine it probably won't be till later on this month but we'll see but 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish my salmon um, and end the video here. Thank you guys again for watching or if um, this is your first time watching. Once again, my name is Taryn, AKA Glamazon with three Zs. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.